Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. There's four main considerations a farmer has for controlling weeds and winter wheat, and they are to minimize yield losses from weed competition. They're also for improving harvesting efficiency if we can cover more acres per hour in a clean field uh, versus certainly a, uh, a weedy field. The third consideration is the cleanliness of straw. Buyers want clean straw. They don't want to inherit your weed seeds and weed roots uh, for their operation. And then lastly, uh, weed seed return. We don't want to let annual weeds growing, setting seed and returning it to the soil for future years to come. So in a perfect world, we have a wheat field like this one here where the producer was able to go in with a pre-plant weed control treatment to get rid of all the winter annual and perennial weeds to get the crop off to a clean start. That's the best way to minimize yield losses from weeds. But what if we weren't able to hit that window? It's a tough window to hit. As soon as a combine comes out of the field, usually the drill's in there after. So if we have perennial and winter annual weeds now in our winter wheat crop in the fall, what do we do? Should we control it now or should we wait till the spring? So let's look at a couple of scenarios because the real answer is we need to scout, see what's in there and make that decision. So let's run through a couple of different scenarios. So in order to figure out whether you should be going in the fall to control weeds or wait till the spring, we need to scout. We need to see what's in the field to begin with. Because in the fall, the weather is a lot more unpredictable than in the spring. And so is a good opportunity for us to go in the field or not. So we need to scout for weeds. And I'm looking at right now um, a couple of different species here. We have perennial sow thistle. And this is uh, several days after a string of hard frost. So nighttime temperatures got down to minus three, minus five. I'm about a week away from that, that frost event. And you notice here with perennial south thistle, the leaf tissue is green. So that's what you wanna look at when you're in a field in the fall, debating whether to spray uh, for weed control is, what does the leaf tissue look like after a frost? And in this case, Leaf tissue looks good. Sometimes that light frost triggers those perennial weeds to start storing sugars into the roots. So it's actually a nice time to hit them with herbicides because it takes the herbicide down into the root. You'll notice here though, we have this species here. It's annual sow thistle. Uh, it's wilted from that frost. So the frost has actually killed the top growth of that. So clearly if you had species like this, Hey, Mother Nature's already done the job for you. The frost has desiccated the weed, uh, nothing to do here. But certainly the other species in this field, we have some wild carrot, we have uh, some cleavers uh, popping up. So the perennials and winter annuals, leaf tissue looks green. Uh, from a benefit to, to uh, the weed crop, things like sow thistle, we know they get tall, they affect harvesting ease. So there's benefit to managing those now versus waiting to the spring. So here's another field scenario, and it just indicates why scouting is so important. So uh, first weed I came across here, lamb's quarters. This is seven days after a frost. Lamb's quarters isn't that frost hardy, so it's all wilted black tissue. You know, so if you have a bunch of weeds like this, you see the leaf tissue is all wilted and rotten. There's no, no sense doing any herbicide applications here. But there are other species that we have here. We have some chickweed and cleavers that are still nice and green, some, some dandelion and some sow thistles. So we see again some weeds here through scouting that, that definitely still can take up herbicide and be controlled. The big question is, what do we use? We know from experience there's herbicides that we shouldn't be using in the fall, specifically 2,4-D. So not only does the product label of 2,4-D say not to apply it to winter wheat emerged in the fall, um, you know, other hormone herbicides too, we probably should avoid. The main reason for that is uh, when they're applied in the fall, the growth stage is usually small, just starting to tiller. Uh, field experience in the past has shown that it can distort heads and reduce yield significantly the next year. So 2,4-D, let's stay out of that for fall weed control. So then you ask yourself the question, well, how do I choose a herbicide to control what I have? And so fortunately, there's a new tool out called the Pest Manager 
Finder app that can help us narrow down our search options, especially when we have four or five different target weeds that we're looking at. So let's take a look at that app and how we can use it for this scenario. Mm -hmm. 